it's time for giving love. When will you come around? When will you come around? When will you come around? It's time for giving love. So listen, first and foremost, if nobody told you as of yet today, I love you. If nobody told you as of yet today, I am proud of you. You're going to continue to achieve anything you set out to do. You understand me? Also, chosen ones, you already know, I do have to give you that brief disclaimer. I only want you to take what resonates and leave the rest behind, all right? So I don't want you trying for certain scenarios for you. If you don't happen to get your confirmation through me, I guarantee you won't get it through somebody else, all right? So be patient with your process. Also, as you already know, my voice is two raspy chosen ones, to be whispering. So this is about the time that you probably want to go ahead and hit that volume, okay? So before we get started, as always, I want to thank you so much in advance for all your love, like, share, subscri subscribes, excuse me, your gifts, kind words, not only to myself, but each other too. I appreciate you because I don't always get the pause in the middle of my message to relay that to you, okay? So thank you so much. Now, chosen ones, hey, babies, I'm glad that we aligned. So, chosen ones, I do have a message for today, but before we jump in, I do want you to know, right now, today is the last day for the buy one, get one free. That's for the 30-minute coaching sessions. That's for the 15-minute recording sessions. That's for the 10-minute recording sessions. This is going to be the last buy one, get one free of the year, okay? So the link's in my bio, all right? So again, I appreciate all of you who have booked it. Now, I will ask you, if you do book as far as your coaching session or your reading, if you wouldn't mind just immediately sending your picture over just so that we could start the process because I can complete your readings way before as far as the day that they're due as long as I had a picture from you, all right? So I like to make sure things are um, quick. I want to make sure that you have as far as the recording readings before your session begins. And as far as the coaching sessions, I want to make sure that we're um, able to communicate for 30 minutes and so on. You understand without any um, issues. So Please, I do ask you, you can send it to a touch of Badu at gmail.com once you book it. Or you can send it to the number um, that, again, is going to be available pertaining to once you book, okay? So, I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Stacy. Now, again, the links in my bio, Chosen Ones. Also, now, the message for today, we're going to talk about monitoring spirits. We're going to talk about certain people that are trying to attempt to attach to you and attempt to um, put you back in a cycle. However, I do have a virtual course. It's going to be on Zoom, and it's going to be for November 24th. So the link's in my bio. You can purchase your tickets now to reserve your spot. But it's going to be a 30-minute session, a classroom type of setting via Zoom. So it's virtually. You don't have to worry about driving anywhere or any of that um you don't have to have your camera on as long as you can hear we good to go okay so during that um course we're going to talk further about as far as monitoring spirits how to protect um protect yourself from magic protect yourself from projections so on and so forth so i have a brief message for today pertaining to it but you could get it elaborated whether or not you book your session with me and i'll be more than happy to relay those things or if you join me on november 24th now again Again, I only have a limited amount of tickets available because I like to have a personal setting. I want to make sure that you, I'm working in a sense one-on-one -on -one with you. I want to make sure that I'm providing all the information to you as well as um, designate a few minutes afterwards. So just in case you have questions pertaining to it. So the link's in my bio, okay? Now, let's get started, Chosen Ones. And I promise you, I won't keep you too long, all right? Now, for those who have to pop in and pop out, it's Okay, I'll post this on YouTube. So all I ask you to do is come through, like, share, subscribe, or share it to somebody that you think that needs to hear it at that time, okay? 
So right now, chosen ones, you are to be mindful of the individuals that are coming towards you. Now, again, I'll get into specifics pertaining to um, you individually, but just hear me out. Now, I say this chosen ones because there are certain past people that are going to try to represent themselves. They're going to attempt to reattach themselves to you. These are people that are attempting to keep you in certain type of cycles. These are people that are attempting to do destiny swaps with you. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar pertaining to destiny, any swaps. This is when somebody tries to conjure your energy or um, siphon your energy. This is when somebody tries to swap with you their karma and consequences, place it on you so that they can be scotch-free, right? So I'll tell you and explain to you in various forms that this is going to come. So some of you have past friends. You have past people that you were connected to, whether or not this was romantically. Some of them was family to you. Um, certain scenarios that at that time, God told you that they needed to get removed out of your life. At that time intuitively you started to realize that um these people had ill intentions for you these people were plotting on you these are people that triggered you when you was around these individuals so your spirit was telling you that these people wasn't for you way before they presented their truths to you okay so i always say trust your intuition some of you guys god will tell you something and then you'll question it you'll get in your head so much that you'll persuade yourself that you made that up and no that's god relating that information there's some of you that say well i don't know why i feel like this or i don't know why um i'm getting signs like this or i don't know why you do know why you can't say that oh you don't know where it's coming from it's god it's your intuition god i want you to realize that your intuition is a personal um this is almost like a walkie talkie to god right so if you're on your in your divine light if you're in your high frequency you're going to be able to connect to him but if you're not chosen ones the message is going to be broken okay and there's certain people that are going to try to tune into your energy to pick up certain messages from you or about you. So these are people trying to get readings on you. These are people that are trying to, again, destiny swap with you. They're monitoring spirits, okay? Now, I say this because some of you have past people that, again, God told you the truth about them, crystal clear, way before you even physically seen certain things presented, you got your storm warnings. So the storm warnings is equivalent to your meteorologist telling you um, that there's going to be bad weather in the area. There's going to be a hurricane. There's going to be a tropical storm, whatever the case may be, an attempt to um, give you enough time to prepare for it. So your intuition will click in sometimes way before those up those um experiences those encounters actually present are presented okay so you have an opportunity to listen so god will tell you that that person was a cheater god will tell you that that person was a deceiver god will tell you that person is lying god will tell you that that person is hiding certain things right but before you physically see them he'll give you the opportunity to relieve yourself from them to dismiss them right and it's because again he's trying to attempt to assist you not to go through what these people intend to direct towards you so those people who want to drag you along those people that want to hold you hostage in a sense energetically spiritually putting spells on you to keep you bound to them to keep you in your head about being in new connections those individuals are representing themselves chosen ones and they're going to have you um an attempt to try to have you question what god has showed you see when i tell you that everything that god told you about these individuals was true that they was a cheater a liar a deceiver a snake somebody who was attempted to deter you somebody that was here to to distract you you felt that your body wouldn't allow you to be around them you were triggered by their presence chosen ones you were triggered by the thought of them again some of them when you started communicating with them you've seen certain signs and again i'll get back into this more during my course but right now know that monitoring spirits will pop up in various forms when you reconnect with that person you're not supposed to be connected to you're going to start to see certain pests going around your house so you can start seeing roaches and you know damn well you ain't got no roaches you'll start to to see a bunch of flies and you know that they shouldn't even be around at that time you'll see certain ants um typically red ants are associated with monitoring spirits whereas the um darker ants chosen ones that's more so a spiritual sign for you to realign with your spiritual group you understand so there's various signs but hear me out now when i say this chosen ones that there's certain monitoring spirits that come around so when certain people again there's people from your past that's attempting to reach out for you now some of them chosen ones you're supposed to dismiss now i'll get into a moment about the ones that have um a re-attempt that love a true love that's coming in okay so right now we're going to talk about the 
the negative ones. Thank you, babies. So I want you to realize there's past people that God told you when you were getting spiritually attacked, you was in the middle of spiritual um, war and it was coming from them. These are the people who did love spells on you to keep you bound to them. So again, chosen ones, they were attempting to keep you locked and stuck in a situation. You have to realize that although love spells sound so sweet, that's a violation. That's almost like Diddy putting something in your drink in order to get to you. You understand? That's like um, Rick Ross when he said there's Molly all in your champagne. She ain't even know. These are individuals that are attempting to violate you. They're trying to put an illusion on you so that you are more easy to do what it is that they want you to do. So these people will do love spells. They'll love bomb you. These are people that'll tell you all the words that you want to hear, but you have to realize, chosen ones, if intuitively you do not feel it at that time and you try to persuade yourself about that person, that is somebody who's trying to love bomb you, do love spells on you. They're trying to manipulate the energy, okay? So pay attention to that. But you have certain people that when you were connected to them, they try to present themselves like they were your divine feminine or masculine. So these are people who literally try to dress them up themselves up like your person so these people you can usually tell who monitoring spirits are because they'll ask you a bunch of questions whereas the true divine person they'll already be playing a certain position they'll be present presenting excuse me themselves um like your person based upon them being naturally them they'll be a walking confirmation in a sense as well as these are individuals when they ask you questions it's because intuitively they can feel like you're going through something so they ask you like hey what's going on your day okay okay well now nah, god just guided me to reach out to you i i felt a little change in things right so there's a difference between somebody who's a monastery spirit and somebody who actually um, wants to check in on you, make sure that you cool, so on and so forth. Now, a lot of y'all got monitoring spirits out of family, past partners and friends. Again, I'll get into that more pertaining to my course. Or if you have a one-on-one -on -one session with me, I'll be more than happy to relate to you who those individuals are towards you, okay? So monitoring spirits are attempting to come back around. These are people that when you extended yourself to them, they attempted to tear you down. So they seen that you was a, a gift. They seen that you was God's pop-up generator in a sense. So therefore, since they was in the dark, they felt like they can plug into you connect towards you and drain you from that energy, right? So there's certain people chosen ones that you could be a feminine and that masculine who came in because there's nothing divine about him. He's a damn demon. There's certain people that that masculine that came in chosen ones that you felt um, was your divine person and it was not. You have to realize sometimes masculines will try to take on the feminines or take from the feminine's energy as well. So it's just not feminines that are attacking feminines or trying to attach from them, drain them, destiny swap them some of you had partners that seen the light in you some of you had potential friends that seen the light in you they seen that you had a greater future they seen that you had a higher purpose so these people intentionally tried to befriend you in order to betray you these are people that tried to put all their weight on you these are people that was out here doing karmic things and they want you to put in a good word for them so which brings me to this you have people that you disconnected from that fraudulent friend that false ass person that potential partner whatever they case may be, you intuitively felt that they was deceiving you. You intuitively felt that they was demonic ass individuals. And you started to realize when you disconnected from them, your life started to blossom. Your life started to flourish. But they started to go through destruction. Because they tried to um, stand on you in order to get a better view. Because they tried to take from you to build themselves up as well as to give to other individuals. So there are certain people that that last little bit of energy that they drained from you back when you was connected to them is no longer there it's now disappearing it's now faded you claimed your energy back right now with this being said chosen ones they're attempting to come back around one is because this is karma season when i tell you it's judgment day judgment day isn't just one day because you have to realize divine time is not the same as your time right so right now it's judgment day all the karma is coming back so if you was doing bad bad's coming to you if you was doing good you're going to be a blessed individual right so these are the people that was out here scamming lying deceiving cheating freaking doing devious shit using people for certain things they mind body and energy in a sense. These are people that were trying to attach themselves to you, right? Now, I say this because they're going to try to, um, some of them are going to try to reach out to you, right? So when they um, reconnect, now again, chosen ones, not everybody that 
mm, we'll get into a stay with me, okay? Because I don't want you to get confused. So right now we're talking about the negative individuals. We'll get into the positive too, okay? So right now we're focused on the negative. They're going to attempt to reconnect with you so that you can put in a good word for them. So these are people that got karma and consequences coming. That scamming that they did is catching up to them. Them diseases um, that they're, re they're getting from passing themselves around because of that Jezebel spirit. There are certain finances that are not flowing through for them. Even the destruction, even the, the, the deceit that they was doing, even as far as scamming, it's not working out for them anymore, right? There are certain people chosen one that their health is starting to decline. They looks is starting to get dull. They starting to look dingy at this time. There are certain people that, again, when I tell you everything that they intended for you, the people that restricted you, the people that wish the worst on you, karma's coming through for these individuals. That's why they trying to make their way back to you because what they sent to you did not um, take you out like they intended. Some of them did love spells to keep you bound. Now you're starting to see the truth about them. Now you're no longer interested. Now you're finally being open to connecting to somebody else. There's some people that try to hold your finances back. You re realize that your wealth was within. Everything else is just a bonus, right? You realize that your soul is your credit card. Your soul is your debit card. So therefore, as long as you're a good person, see, some of y'all got to realize money is really a demonic trait. Money is something that the devil created in order to have its way. You're not supposed to have to pay for certain things that you have. It's all about the bartering system in a sense. It's, okay, you have this skill. Now, I have this skill. We can exchange for this. So this is like you being a planter that can plant um, a farmer, fruits and vegetables in a sense. Now, this person has the ability to um, fix cars. So now you're like, well, listen, I offer you some food. I offer you some fruit in exchange for the services that you do. It's really supposed to be a bartering system. However, you will get paid for your purpose because because of um, how things are right now, God is still going to make sure that you're good, okay? So you'll get paid financially for your purpose, but that's not all what it's about, okay? I told you it's the end of an evil ever, so there's certain things that are going to change around. Your wealth is within you. Please remember that, okay? Because some of y'all feel like you limited because you're not seeing no dollars on you, and the whole time, that's the devil's trick. You got to really that whatever you want, you have the ability to produce those things, okay? So stop thinking negative, all right? Your mind is the manifester. So when you say that you, oh, I know God's about to figure that out. I know God's about to make sure I'm blessed. See, when you say that, you also have to have action behind it because that's the difference between manifestations and magic, okay? See, manifestations are prayers that you're praying to God, but you know that you divinely aligned with it. You know that you deserve those things. You know that you earn those things, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, chosen ones. So it's a thin line between manifestations and magic. So you praying to God for your divine person. Don't put a name attached to it. Say you're praying for your divine person. So your person is going to get presented to you, right? Sometimes when you pray and you pray in these individuals out of toxic ass relationships and not even realizing it, right? But I'll say this, chosen ones. Um, manifestations are prayers that you did the work. So you're praying for love. You're praying for abundance. You're praying for wonderful health. That's because you gave that out, right? So you get what you receive. Oh, you receive um, what you put out, right? So that's the difference. Magic is when they ask them for things that they didn't earn. It, they is not due to them. They didn't do anything to deserve it, but they just want it for them. So there's some people, chosen ones that are out here doing magic because the things that they asking for does not make sense. How are you going to ask for people to love you and you don't show love to them? How are you going to ask for um, abundance to come to you when you out here scamming and scheming? How are you going to think that abundance is going to come to you when you're still doing the wrong shit with the wrong individuals? You're going to have to realize that, okay? So know that there's a difference between my manifestations and magic. It's a thin line. How they say a thin line between love and hate? It's real thin, okay? So just be mindful. You ask God to present for you, um, to you what is for you. Don't be out here just making up shit knowing that you're not the person that even needs to fulfill you asking for a million dollars a million dollars to do what because you're not going to change the world with it if you just hold on to it then you're a glut right that's gluttony you having a billion dollars but not doing nothing on it you just want to feel superior absolutely not now the difference is a lot of you chosen ones are going to get million dollars billion dollars basically overnight you're going to have a partner that you're building a billion dollar um foundation with you have the tools within you right you just have to know when the opportunity is getting presented okay so know that all right don't limit yourself baby 
okay? I know what your circumstances look like right now, but don't bound yourself to the circumstances right now when God has something powerful coming towards you. You understand? He's just clearing out. You have a purpose. Now hear me out. I say this because there are certain people, chosen ones, that are attempting to reconnect with you because you have a favor. I'm your favor from God. You did what you were supposed to do, so now they want you to put in a good word for them. They want you to um, swap destinies in a sense. So they was out here scamming. That's equivalent to your people who spend their whole check. You don't spend no money on you because you say you ain't got it, but then all of a sudden, after they blow through their bread, they come to you and have their hand out and you give to them. That's the same thing pertaining to it, okay? So be mindful of that, all right? Now, there's certain people, chosen ones, that, again, are trying to reattach themselves. They're about to go down, so they need your light to escape the darkness. These are people that are trying to, they're drowning in a sense, and they're going to try to pull you in the water. So it's not about saving these people because you can't save them. It's already judgment has been called. So a lot of them chosen ones, they want to know how you survived, what they were sending towards you at that time. So a lot of people are coming back at an attempt. A lot of them got arrogance. They, they, you left and you um, dismissed them before, but they feel like, oh, no, nah, I'm not going to give this person an opportunity to leave no more. So they're going to come with false promises. They're going to come with on false pretenses. They're coming with ill intentions. So pay attention to it. Intuitively, you'll know the difference. Also watch because a lot of these people will break character, right? So again, chosen one, and I didn't encounter them. Which brings me to this, right? I say this because there's some of you that these past people are trying to call you in. So anytime they think about you, a lot of these times they feel like they powerful than they really are, right? So this is them feeling like, oh, they finally manifest you back because you reached out to them. Oh, the, the love spell is working because you are speaking to them. Whole time they don't even realize if you even say our name energetically or you even think about us, oh, we can't, we going, hello? Huh? What you need? That's that's it. So just know some of these people, chosen ones, they're thinking that you are communicating with them because they have an opportunity of abundance the whole time. It's the fake out. They hit, getting hit with that okie doke, right? And what do I mean? Because chosen ones right now, because it's the karmic time, and when I tell you it's the wrath of God that's about to arrive for these people that was doing demonic stuff, just know that God is having you. Okay, well, you read, um, you speak with this person and you just be sure that this is the person that what you felt before was the truth about them. So God's having you cross paths with certain people just to hear, just to align certain things again before that wrath comes. So some people feel like they escaped this. Some people think they about to be cool with you. Absolutely not. It's a setup, baby. And we ain't talking set up like these people be doing. So let me make sure that's clear. Energetically, spiritually, it's a setup. God will have the people that intend the worst for you to be in front of you. So you really, you sit there and speak about what you know individuals are doing towards you just so that they get a hint. See, if they do not take that opportunity to apologize nor repent, oh baby, you about to get hit with that wrath. So some of us chosen ones, we have spoke to people, um, from the past and it's only because this wrath is coming in so we want to establish yo that's the right person so think about um somebody who got robbed or somebody who got assaulted whatever the case may be and they have to identify the person who did those things the perp right so you know how the police will put people in a car and it's dark and they put the light on the person who did it and they're like listen they're giving that um the victim an opportunity to identify them this is what's happening so some people who are coming back are not people that you're supposed to re-spark connections with sometimes shows them once again you ain't got to even know that let them know that you up on them that you understand what they've been doing right? It's just so you can see the truth about them. You sit there and see their ways, their action, and you choose on how, you understand, you call judgment. That's what you do. You know, not match that energy, you call judgment. So there's some people that feel like because you speak to them, that the magic that they were sending and connected to you and all of this, absolutely not. I'm just calling judgment on you. I'm just getting a clearer view, a closer connection um, in the vicinity in a sense, so I can make sure that I'm identifying the right person that was sending that shit. So there's some people chosen ones, for some reason, they arrogance when they speak to you again. Absolutely not. You about to catch that wrath. Oh, you about to catch that wrath, Papa. You about to catch that wrath, Mama. It's over for you. You right? Uh, it's over, okay? So just know that chosen one. So certain people who try to pop back in your life, it's just for you to, nah, God, it was them. They were sending magic. I know what they trying to fake like things is going good for them. And I'll intentionally sometimes chosen ones be like, oh, yeah. 
Everything's good. No, it, no, it's not, sir. No, it's not, ma'am. I know that wrath is whooping that ass. I know that God don't play by me and what he says is going to happen to you or individuals who try to try, me or my tribe, are going to have karma and consequences that arise. So, mm-mm. It's over for you. Ain't no coming back. And now you try to learn ways that you can escape that wrath. You can't. You got to be built, built and equipped for that. You don't got it in you, baby. That's why you blew a fuse trying to do what we do. You are not like that, baby. That's why them same demons that you sent towards us are beating y'all the fuck up. Because you're not like that, baby. They don't realize the divine are uh, have ranking over both sides. You understand me? Look at God and how he just defeats the devil how he disrespects the shit out of him how god is like man if you don't tell his ass to get up out there that's the same pretending to you you have ranking over the negative so the same demons that they sent to you you sit there and are in your divine energy they know that they can't get to you so they get mad now they going to whoop the person's ass that sent them on that mission knowing that it was going to um cause destruction for them you understand me there's certain people i'm trying to tell you some of these demons is like hey yo why would you send me on that mission on damn well that so-and-so got the hands that's like them talking about you a free lick you an easy setup in a sense whole time they ain't even realize you got a black belt you got that blicky with you you sit there and got that aim you understand me that people don't play about you that you well surrounded even when you buy yourself you never buy yourself because you got that in you and on you you understand me see some people don't even realize that you was the nice person and didn't even call no shots or call no moves to be made on them see there's certain people that again chosen ones about you you, other de demons it's off what they had so they don't even they don't understand that you didn't even fight um to your full potential you mush pop them in a sense you can sat there and just stun their ass a little bit but that's not even a close to what they about to get you put that wrath in god's hands and they about to see that ain't no tapping out ain't no coming out who you tapping out to because your people getting beat the fuck up too so they out here trying to um go to this person to help them go to this person to help them go ahead because we got hands energetically for all of them who's getting beat up Oh, your grandmother, Miss Margaret, will get her ass whooped too, energetically too. I don't care. She 90. Her ass ain't going to make it to C92 at all. As far as, okay, you out here breeding little demons, God's going to handle that. As far as them, they try to do destiny swaps, baby, you not built like that. It's almost like laughable. How they say laugh out loud? Yeah. So just know that little Miss Margaret's getting her walker pushed to the side right now. I'm trying to tell you, some of these people don't realize that they not built like that. They feel like those practitioners that they was paying was really like that. They not. It's a facade. We got those hands. So it's almost like somebody who try to fight you and they try to get their cousin on you because their cousin is the family fighter. And the whole time, shorty, you can't really fight. We really got those hands. So now we done sat there and made all y'all look stupid. And my ancestors that messed around and recorded it on that world star type tip. I'm trying to tell you, some of these people was talking so arrogant, talking about you was a good lick. You was the person that they was going to do certain stuff to. They was going to take you out. They was going to set you up. There's certain people that was gang stalking you, doing death spells on you, trying to get you kidnapped, trying to get you killed, trying to get you set up for something that they did. Whole time chosen ones, absolutely not. The karma's coming back on them. You will have the last laugh and you're going to laugh for the rest of your life. While they're going through certain troubles, they ain't going to be able to sleep at night. I'm trying to tell you, certain karma's coming, but hear me out, right? Now, chosen ones, with that being said, there's some people that come back and they feel like they got you. You ain't the same person that you were when you knew them. So therefore, now that you know about them, you just call judgment and you block them. It ain't no, oh, well, you didn't open this up. Absolutely not. As soon as I see what I need to see, your ass is getting blocked. Oh, you out here doing demon shit? Oh, you out here trying to do love spells and shit? You getting that ass whooped, okay? I'm calling judgment. God is on. Uh, I'm telling you, if God's 911, I already got the 911 one and i just ain't pushed the green button yet as soon as i see some suspect shit i'm calling him god raise ass over there doing spells again mm-hmm Clarence over there with ill intentions again. So-and-so's gang stalking again. We can feel you in our energy. I don't know why y'all feel like y'all tiptoeing through some shit. Some of these motherfuckers feel like, you know how you see a kid who ate the candy and they like, nah, what's that meme where the little boy was like, I didn't eat the candy, I ate a banana. It was a banana. 
the whole time, we could see you while you're doing shit. Just because you're not physically around us, we intuitively know what you're up to. God doesn't allow anything to be done against us that we don't know about. You understand me? The things that we let go is because either we know that you're not built like that. It's not no, it's not no threat at all. But some of it is because chosen ones, we already know that God's involved. You already handle what I look like arguing with a corpse. You already dead. Karma's already setting in. You just don't know it yet, right? So just let them know, chosen ones. It is what it is, but they try um, monitoring you. These are people that, again, be mindful of what you tell individuals. Because I can tell you this, chosen ones, I'll never lie to the person that I know was plotting at that time, but I'll leave a lot of out. So they'll be like, oh, what you doing with your life? I'll tell them something that... I already did, so they think that I'm all that I'm trying to do it now, baby. You can't stop this. There's certain people that want to know, oh, well, what are you trying to do? What do you want to do with your future? What certain thing? I'll tell you, cause I know it's already done. You think that you coming in and mixing something up? You could, you should have stopped. I'm trying to tell you, in order to stop you, they had to stop you before you were born. See why you think so many people try to um defeat you. Why you think so many, so many people got these gang stalkers to group up on you? See, one on one, they can't see you, but one on 10, they can't see you. One on 20, they can't see you. Y'all not built like that. You need to cut it out. See, we be nice. We're empaths. So we understand what you're sending towards us is because of the shit that you went through. But again, there's certain destiny swappers. It comes from the same sex, but the opposite sex too. It comes from your family. It comes from fake friends. It comes from people who were once interested in you and made the wrong decision. These are people that you warned them when you was around them you gave them an opportunity to play that position so you're chosen so you chose to choose them as a potential partner for all this abundance that's about to come in so you're sitting there giving them an opportunity that they don't even know what the re the benefits that's about to come from it but you just give them an opportunity Chosen ones, we don't need somebody to be the money. We don't need nobody to give us money. We don't need nobody to... No, you don't. Now, will that happen? Absolutely. Absolutely. You got that energy. God said your energy is good in our hood. So, therefore, what you ain't got, he gonna make sure that you get it. And you ain't gotta do nothing illegal in order to get it, right? You... Good intentions. All of a sudden, now this person wanna help you. Now this person... Things are aligning for you because you a good person, but... These other people, chosen ones, I'm trying to tell you, the wrath is about to hit their ass. They tried to limit you. Now they're limited. They tried to attack you. They tried to attach to you. All that karma is coming back to these people. As far as your finances, they about to flow. They tried to attack you. They tried to attach to you. All that karma is coming back to these people. As far as your finances, they about to flow. I guarantee finances chosen ones sorry froze a little bit my phone i gotta put it on the charger but let me say this y'all got finances that are about to flow to through you um for you right you gave the uh, these individuals the opportunity god gave you a quick glimpse of what you about to get and you said okay well this person had a potential to play this position i seen that you was hurt all your life i seen that people didn't treat you right so i'm thinking if i show you something new that brings out and incites a new change version of you no some of these people are just demons some of these people no matter what you try to give them they're still gonna do dark ass shit and make dark ass decisions no matter what love you giving towards them naturally they're still gonna do love spells to try to keep you bound no matter how many times you try to include them with business endeavors because you're trying to show them that they can do better they're gonna always disappoint you they're gonna always attach and use you they're gonna always want to try to have what you have and swap it out with you oh that's impossible See, you try to be me, you gonna fuck around and be deceased. I'm trying to tell you, it's absolutely impossible. God is like, no. So they try to make your brain all flurry and foggy. They try to have you... Um, take attempts to go back and do some shit that God told you you shouldn't do. They try to come with a lustful energy. They try to come dressed up as ever. I'm trying to tell you, some of these people didn't change their looks to try to look like your divine feminine or masculine. Some of these people didn't try to change. Um, try to, They're watching you, hearing what you're saying, and they try to recite it back to you like they have the same intentions. You can feel intuitively who's for you. And again, chosen one, some of you, you got to realize it doesn't take a millionaire to make you a million. You got a billion dollar brain. You got a billion dollar abilities you got certain tools in you that you can use to make sure that you're successful and people around you too you don't have to do it's impossible for you to do what these demons do ain't no magic that magic's within you you understand me 
That's it. Thank you, babies. So we don't match their energy. We don't do what they do. We stay in our vibration because that's how the darkness does not attach to you. Now, again, on the 24th of November at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will have a session on Zoom where it's a classroom setting. And I'm explaining to you more about monitoring spirits, how to um, protect yourself from projections, how to protect yourself from black magic, all of that. OK, so I got you. But if you want a one on session, Today is the last day for the rest of the year for the buy one, get one free for the 30 minute coaching session, the 15 minute reading and the 10 minute reading. OK, so for the readings, I record those for you so that you can reference to um, go and they'll serve as a confirmation for you. But as far as the coaching sessions, we on the phone. You want to say it's typically 30 minutes, but typically we go over as well. I ain't going to lie. I just want to make sure that you got all the information at that time. What I can assist you with. I'm going to assist you with. So we're going to talk about the past, the present, where you're going to, what you got to do in order to prepare for what's about to get presented to you. I got you, okay? So just know that. But I say to chosen ones, you call judgment. Now, let me just briefly get on this because there are some of you. So we got out the negative people. Call judgment, disconnect. You're going to feel your energy coming back. Go clean up your fucking house, okay? Excuse me, but I had to say that real sturdy. Go clean up your house. If you know that people are sending monitoring spirits towards you, if you know that people are trying to attach themselves to you, you got to clean up like spring cleaning. I'm talking about you got to damn near smell bleach in the air. You understand me? So go wash those clothes, wash those walls, wash that floor, clean those closets out because wherever there's clutter, wherever there's dirt, wherever there's chaos, that's where those demons try to stay at, okay? So you're going to air that shit out. As far as protecting your surroundings of your house, you got to clean off your porch as well. But do not clean the outside until the inside is right okay so this is washing the clothes washing the wall um again spring cleaning okay um now after you clean out your house you gotta make sure that you're cleaning out your energy as well so that's you staying prayed up so as you're cleaning do some positive music on something that gets you um how they say get you going something that brings positive so this could be some jill scott this could be some india ivory this could be some kirk Fred. whatever the case whatever you listen to chosen ones love excitement talking about um positive things you have to have the energy in the air so think about a spring day right in florida right now it's chilly shit it's cool so this will be the perfect time to lift up those windows and air out them demons too once you clear out the house and you clean out your body as well now you go outside and you clean up that's cleaning up your porch praying on behalf of your door so no negative energies to come in you're gonna see certain demons that's gonna be hollering from the sidewalk because they can't come near or closer to your location unless you allow them unless you invite them that's why certain demons will say Certain people, a.k.a. demons, will say, oh, nah, you got to invite me over. You got to let me in. Motherfucker, no, you're not. I object to it. You're not coming in. Absolutely not. You stay where you are. And there's some people talking about they going through shit. Oh, they fighting demons. You damn sure ain't coming to my crib. You out here talking about you got oppositions and you think you're going to be in my face. Absolutely not. I'm not catching that karma. I'm not catching those strays. I'm not catching those demons or those diseases. Absolutely not. So chosen ones, do not allow them in your house, right? Um, I will say this. Pray around your whole house. Walk around the whole. So if you live in a building, walk around the whole building. You want to take that lap. But the whole time you're walking around, you stay in positive affirmations. God, I ask you to protect my house from negative energies. I protect. ask you to protect our family from projections. I ask you that anybody that tries to send negative energy towards me, God propels it, repels it. Whatever the case may be, you speak around your house too. And you're going to feel energy better, right? You're going to feel certain things di differently, chosen one. So, again, stay prayed up. Now, let me get on this real quick because my phone's going dead and I got some coaching sessions to do. Now, let me say this. Some of you have past people that you was connected to. This is why I say there's two areas, okay? And if you need to know which one you're on, come to me. I got you. I promise you, okay? But there's some of you chosen ones that you were, um, you crossed paths with people from the past. There was a specific person that you crossed paths um specific i had to make sure i ain't say no damn pussy specific person that you cross paths with chosen ones at that time you had certain third party energies in your life whether or not that was your mother that was overburned your father that was overburned your work was all consumed with you you had fears because you didn't want to um reconnect with an individual based upon what this person did to you just know that those people are getting represented okay now um let me see if i should do two separate messages um 
I'll just keep it all together, but I'll do another one tomorrow, okay? Now, you had people from your past that you encountered, but when you were connected to them, you were going through certain things. You were healing. You thought the person that you was with was your forever person. There's some of you that you allowed your child's father, child's mother to deter you. Now, I'll give you an example pretending to me because I'm going to always be transparent with you. That's how you learn certain things, right? So chosen ones, there once was upon a time where I... um. I was not in a relationship with my child's father. We had ended it. But our circumstances were um, I stayed with the children. He worked out of town. So I stayed with the children, um, took care of them financially. He provided for them. Wonderful, right? Um, but certain physical things all fell on me. But with that being said, chosen ones, because of that circumstance I was in, I did not feel comfortable entertaining nobody else because I'm like, listen, I don't want to go with somebody and the whole time I got this masculine paying for the household, even though it was an agreement because it was cheaper that way. Instead of doing daycare expenses that was 500 a week, instead of doing um, as far as me having to work and try to find a way to get them, it was just made sense because if he was not physically around, he was going to financially make sure that he provides for them. That's non-negotiable, right? So I was physically there. He was financially there. That's not saying that he wasn't physically there as well, but he wasn't there as much as he um, could have been based upon the fact that he was working out of town. Now, that's not the issue. The issue is that there was a point in time, chosen ones, that that put me in a um, restrictive position because he knew that I wouldn't be interested in talking to anybody else because of the conditions. Um, as far as the fact that, again, he was paying for certain things and I was um, staying with the kids. I knew that as soon as I was showed interest in somebody, he started to switch up. Now he don't want to help with them or he'll have an attitude or he'll say, get your new man to do it, whatever the case may be. Right. And we're just going to be honest. And I always say this. We're not in no fights or no facade, none of that. We have an understanding now at this time. But I always tell you, um, everybody that I was connected with, they're going to be used as examples if that's what I need to do, right? As far as to um, help you. So this is not talking down to him, not at all, but hear me out. Um, with this being said, I put myself in a position where I encountered somebody that was my divine masculine, was a divine masculine. However, my child's father restricted me from moving forward with them. One, because I felt like I was restricted. I felt like if I um, was to give love to them, certain circumstances would change, then I'd be struggling. Then that's me um, not having as much time with my children because I got to work all the time, all of that, right? So there's certain things that had me fearful. But that's when God put me in a position was like, listen, nah, you align with your purpose. You're going to get paid. So although I could, um, I got good jobs and I worked all the time. I had to quit as well because if my babies need me, oh, I'm calling out. Fuck out of here. Oh, I got to leave early. So-and-so has a cold. So-and-so needs to go. I'm out of there. I, it, no matter what, I know I can get another job. I always keep the mentality like um, everybody hates Chris Mom. Like, my man got three jobs. I keep that energy like, nope, I know I have the ability to get another one. This shit don't work. I'm not about to be sweating. My babies come first. You understand? So, it was a position where I was frustrated because I kept getting more um, great paying jobs, but I couldn't and stay there long because my babies come first, right? So that was something that was used against me in a sense in that situation because he wasn't willing to let go. He didn't play the position when we was together, but he also didn't want to see other people um, connected to me. He liked the fact that I was a homebody. I like to stay in the house. So he ain't worried about half the um, my child's father at the time was like, listen, he knew that I wasn't running around town. I was at the house with my children all the time. All of that, right? Now, I say this because people will try to, um, during that time period, I crossed paths with my divine masculine, a divine masculine. He was like my best friend. We laughed all the time and me and him was in similar positions. Yes, he had a history or, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um, as far as we were in the same position because he was somebody that was the person that people he talked to talked to when they was going through stuff. There were certain situations that he stayed in because he wanted to help them up. We was friends, right? Um, again, connection, definitely. That spark, definitely. But there were certain situations where he would want to go out and see me and I'm like, nah, I don't want to do all that because I want to cause issues because at that time, again, my child's father's people is deep in Florida, right? So I'm like, nah, I don't feel like going out and those people not knowing because um, I was private. I didn't have to tell everybody else that I was not with my child's father at that time because to me, I didn't need to tell all his business more to tell mine, right? The people who needed to know needed to know. But that was an issue.
issue because other people were looking like I was still with that individual. So they would, um, if they were to see me out with somebody, they could have caused the issue. So I allowed certain things to prevent me from moving forward with that person who wanted to show me off, always wanted to take me out. Always, every time I looked at them, the eyes was lighting up. Every time that I spoke to them, we was having deep conversations naturally. This is somebody who has the faith, has God embedded in them, right? But again, there were circumstances, third-party energies that did not allow us to um, connect. There was times that I was finally mentally ready, but then he had situations that he had to go through, then vice versa, right? Now, I say the chosen ones because some of you are reigniting, um, reconnecting with people that you cross paths with them but you was in a hectic situation you persuaded yourself not to give um give yourself love because of certain things that went against you there's some of it that you had to put yourself on the back burner for the thought or um for the well-being of other individuals now your season and change now people the god and had those people removed out of your life now god and told you this is the position where you put yourself first you're no longer going to allow other people to live happily while you're over here hurt and why you sad you're not going to be the anchor to these people while they're meanwhile they're holding you back absolutely not so chosen ones if you feel like you can't be in a connection because of everybody else's opinion no you live based upon you don't think about oh well this person what other people's opinions would be because you select the individual that you choose for you that person may not be financially abundant but because they love you you have a connection with them god is going to bless both of y'all for giving love to that connection that it's not about finances. So there's some of you chosen ones that you're feeling like somebody's not going to select you because of the position that you're in. You may feel like you don't got no car. It's cool. I'm telling you chosen ones. There was a point in time I had three cars. And the person that I entertained, that shit, I didn't entertain a few at some point in time who didn't even have cars. If you with the right individual, that's not even an issue. You understand? It's about you. Shit, if you ain't got a car, then they got a car, you going to ride with them. If they ain't got a car, you ain't got a car then y'all gonna walk then but it's gonna be the person that you're with that's gonna make those circumstances seem less um serious you're not gonna be think of the people that you've been connected to been putting pressure on you you feel like you gotta have everything you feel like you gotta have this because you want to have this for them no absolutely not you be you you understand me so if you got a house and your ass living in, i'm sleeping on the pallet right now the person that's for you is gonna bring pillows over and be cool or they're gonna buy your air mattress or they're gonna say the next thing some of you waiting on the car right now text time's right around the corner mama text time's right around the corner papa you about to sit there you got a job that's about to get presented where you're gonna pay majority of that car off you're about to have it so that your credit's about to get fixed you wondering how it's gonna happen that's not none of your business just speak it and you're going to receive it, right? So just know that. But some of you chosen one, then this person from your past comes back. I'm not talking about the karmic. I'm not talking about no demonic individual. I'm talking about somebody that you really felt the spark with. Not no illusion shit. Not that false twin flame. Not none of that. Because the people that you called your twin flame wasn't even your twin flame. I'm trying to tell you. You're going to realize those things. So don't put no title on them, okay? Now... With that being said, you're about to get represented the opportunity. And again, the circumstances going into it, you may not feel like you are where you're supposed to be because you know what you've seen that God said that you're about to be receiving certain things. Or this person could be having to start all over. God and had everything shut down in their life. They had to let sit down in a sense, learn certain lessons, repent, reattach, now want to live for them. And now God's about to bless them, right? Or bless you and you can bless them because you chose them. They're chosen, right? So be mindful. Don't look for somebody to save you. Don't feel like somebody is going to, oh, um, you need this person to boost up you. You fully fulfill you so that you fully full too. And when that person comes, they're going to pour into you and you can pour into them too. Y'all's glasses are going to continue to roll over, okay? So you have a second opportunity at love that's going to arrive. And I say that because now that you're starting to learn what love is, what love really feels like, you may have somebody that you felt that spark with that, again, you felt like other people ruined it for you it's going to now get um now that you block those people out now they're going to be able to align with you now you can't go based upon other people's opinions are there going to be people who try to message them talk shit to them all of that yes chosen ones i didn't been there done that. i'm trying to tell you as far as that chosen one, I didn't expect, with that same example I gave you, during that time period, me and my child's father was not together at all, right? However, I was around them at times, right? Now, because of that, 
I remember that time period where he didn't message the person that was my divine best friend, my divine, um, possibly my divine masculine, talking about, oh, try to make it seem like we were so, like, boy, don't you lie, don't you do that. But this is what I say all of that to say this. There are certain people that you don't know behind the background. They were cloning your phone. They were watching um, you. If they stole your old phone, they was um, logged into your um, Instagram, your Facebook, all of that. There's some of these people chosen ones that cloned your phone, put certain services on that shit so that they could see who was speaking with. Now they're going to get their feelings hurt. See, before they could have chased away the wrong individuals, your true divine person, if they try to say something to them, they're going to correct them. They're going to feel stupid. They're going to get disrespected, right? So just know your divine person is here to protect you. This is somebody that is to protect you while you're playing in your purpose and your position. So some of y'all have protectors coming. I'm talking about somebody who will protect your mind, body, and soul. Don't go based upon other people people's purpose in your position so some of y'all have protectors coming i'm talking about somebody who will protect your mind body and soul don't go based upon other people's opinion all right go based upon and sorry again because it kind of clicked out so if it throws it off just hear the words that i'm saying okay do not let nobody come in between you and your divine person. Some of y'all got marriages coming up quick. Some of y'all got pregnancies that are going to be surprising coming up quick. But it's going to be with a person that you may feel like it's going to put a little bit of work in order to be with them. Some of y'all feel like when you divine align with your divine person, it's the picture perfect. No. Now you got people that's mad. Now you got people who's going to react. But the difference is you with a divine person. So they're not going to let none of that shit connect. You understand me? This is somebody who's going to be motivated by you, encouraged to be a better individual. This is somebody who's going to change their ways. When they around you, they looking at you different than other people that they was with. Just know that, right? Now, some of you, if it's not you being... Um, now, again, a lot of you, you're about to be married. You're about to have children. You're about to um, blend fat, whatever the case may be. But some of you are about to be... Um, businesses, the birth of businesses. So it's not necessarily baby, it's the birth of your happiness. The first half of your life, you had a struggle. The first half of your life, um, there was trouble. This part of your life is going to be pure. So you may not have a mansion, but you have a house with a feminine or a masculine. You have a family dynamic. You have that love. You have that nurturement. This is somebody that your ass can live in a hood or live in a trap, but you excited. You dressing shit up in a sense. You are already at a place that somebody else is praying to be in, so you it's all about perspective, but I'm going to leave that for tomorrow. So I'm going to talk to you tomorrow, Chosen Ones on Live. But listen, today is the last day for the buy one, get one free. Now, closer to December. Now, y'all know my birthday's coming up in a few weeks. December 4th, baby, Sagittarius all day. Now, so I'll say this. There's certain days that I'm going to be taking off as well. Also, you know I love Christmas season. See, I'm speaking into existence. My divine masculine, we about to be matched up all right we about to have big pjs type of vibe you feel me big cabin looking at the snow type of vibes you feel me we about to be taking a lot of vacations and you know what i'm saying so i'm speaking that to an existence we got a few weeks i'm we about to make some shit happen okay i'm talking about my divine boo not these little karma so babies y'all this our season i love christmas time now i know everybody say it's not about the beliefs behind it all of that I just love the Christmas music. That's nostalgia to me. My father used to take us around looking at the Christmas lights, listening to Christmas music. You understand? This Christmas with my shit, with Donnie. You understand? Like, I just love that. This is that loving season. Just all of that. So embrace it, okay? I love you again right now. Buy one, get one free. This is the last day of the year, okay? So the last day to sell for buy one, get one free of the year. I got y'all, but I got so many good things coming up. Around Christmas time, I might do a sale, but it's not going to be no buy one, get one, okay? So I love you so much. Please remember, if you book, baby, please send your picture over right away just so that we're not waiting. I like to be prompt with the messages because if you don't send me it during your appointment time, now you send it after hours. I'm going to make sure that everybody who get, sent me the picture on time gets it from the time that they book. So if you send it late, you going to have to wait till everybody else gets taken care of, okay? So it's not to be rude, but they was prompt with it. So if they have it sent by the time that they have their reading or their coaching session, I'm going to carry on to that, and then I'll have to send you yours 
after they're established. So please remember, also make sure you have the right email and number provided when you book, babies, because I've been having to chase some of y'all down to get the pictures so I can send you the stuff. I don't play like that. And I mean that. I don't play like that. Not about the chasing down part, but I don't play when it comes to people's money because you're not about to say you ain't receive your reading from absolutely not. I don't play like that, okay? So I love you. I appreciate you. I'm proud of you. Continue to be great. I'm going to post this on YouTube. Two, two, two. As I said that, divine alignment. But I love y'all so much. I'm going to post this on YouTube shortly, okay? So just come through, like, share, subscribe, send it to somebody that you think need to hear it at the time. Thank you so much for everybody who get it. If you do not see your name listed when I post this on YouTube, please don't take offense. This is me thinking you now. And it's only because I only see the top 10 um, gifters on TikTok. So that's the ones that I have to, you know, I'll, I'll include in my um my video. But I love y'all. Y'all have a beautiful weekend. Be open to y'all's love that's arriving. I'm telling you, Stella or Stello. If you a masculine, Stello. If you a feminine, Stella. You get in that groove back. You better be open to love. But if you see them red signs, absolutely not. Get the F away, okay? I love you. Continue to be great, babies.